Well, we'll certainly try. Hi there, it's Timmy Joe, and uh, yeah, new new Ryzen build update video with the cooling in regards to the overclockingness and what have you. Uh, you know what, this thing just wasn't cutting it as pretty as it is. And I wanted to get into some sort of uh, amazing cooling situation, and who better to help me out than my new friends here at Noctua. They decided to hop on board and set up a little sponsorship for this video. They uh, basically sent over this cooler and a few other parts uh not that they're paying me to do the video or anything like that but it's very very appreciated that you'd be helping me out here because uh out of the like four tower style heat sinks that they make i i needed the smallest one to fit in this thing huge cooling oversights on this thing if you're interested in this uh here build you can check out this video here but uh this is a custom rising case it's very small form factor considering it's actually not all that small and there's some weird cooling considerations involved that's hence the the uh, i did some stuff to try and make it better here uh it usually has two inlets in the top that just blow air with no outlet you know and that, that's kind of weird and crazy. There's no way those two giant fans uh, aren't creating a positive uh, pressure system inside the case. Well, I was wondering, is it better to have uh, equal pressure and create some sort of better way? So I did an inlet and then I uh, separated the case and then there's an outlet here that would exhaust the CPU. And uh, we did a little bit of messing, a little bit of modding and I'm happy to report um, I, I didn't do nearly as well. <laughs> as I, I would have hoped but uh you know what we're talking about like 100 megahertz here and there so no big deal we did pretty good we did better than the stock wraith cooler that is for sure so uh thanks very much to noctua we have the uh nh U9S, consider this sort of a review situation here. They sent this over as well as an extra fan in the AM4 mounting hardware. Super thumbs up and hadn't had the privilege of opening one of these boxes before, it's insane. So uh, cue an intro and then you're gonna jump right into before I open the boxes, uh, do a little bit of that, some installations, you know, see how I, when things went and whatever and what have you. And then we'll jump back in the studio and I'll give you my conclusions. So this is the NHU9S. I think they're up to 15 in, in regards to size. Let's go ahead and see what you get in the box. So this stuff was sent to me from Nacho, but they're not paying me to say anything good about it. But do they really need little old me saying good stuff about them? It all speaks for itself. Ooh, I was going to... Huh. Let me see here. So, ooh, there she be. It's pretty nice. It's still got five heat pipes, which is uh, one more than like the uh, Cooler Master 212 Evo. So this is still a pretty BA little setup here. And what else we got here in the box? Nothing. Cool. What's in here? Mounting hardware. Lots of nice mounting hardware. Ooh. And you know what? I'm gonna say no one does this no one includes thermal paste like a whole tube of it with uh with their cooling products so you're it's worth the premium to buy noctua stuff it's like uh, I've, I've bought uh other stuff they give you a little package if you're lucky of of uh, thermal compound a lot of the time it's not even name brand stuff they also include a fan splitter in here or fan extension i guess and uh some mounting hardware for it and then one of their premium fans ooh, with uh, anti-vibration nipples and fan splitters oh now that is class act stuff there's so many fan splitters two extensions and a fan splitter so totally worth the premium to buy an octua it's just th this is some awesome stuff so just for size comparison, this is the one I was using before with six heat pipes. This is FSP. Uh, this is uh, not actually, you know, it, it's it's pretty dang close. It's like it's baby brother. This is definitely like a, a full-on steal off of Noctua's design. So one thing we are definitely doing, we're scrapping RGB in this thing. 
I did have a contest, remember that, on Twitter. Go check it out. Uh, you could win Ryzen Computer when I hit 10,000 subscribers. But uh, I will be including 16 gigs of RAM with that. Not sure if it's going to be part of this kit or if I'm going to buy another kit. Or maybe maybe I'll even give you the, the RGB RAM. Who knows? But uh, you know what? Go follow the contest. Check out this, this video here. So I'm trying to figure out better, better cooling for this damn thing. No, he he engineered the fans so they can only go in one way. As well as he had to modify the Noctua fans by like individually uh, to to fit in there instead of creating a mount in the case that would just work with the fan as is. So it's you're you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Not sure if this is going to work, but it seems to mount flush enough to be tightened back down. So my whole idea is going to be to reverse the orientation of the uh, CPU cooler. It's going to hang over the RAM a bit, which yeah should be fine. And then uh, it'll kind of be right in the middle of the case, split between those two fans. And I'll put this one... Uh, at a higher speed, so it'll shoot ram or air down to the video card, down between this hole to the other side of the video card, and it'll be the inlet for the air. And then I'll ramp this fan down, and uh, it should just suck the exhaust out from the CPU cooler. But that's the only thing I can think of here. We'll see if it works. Okay, so without getting into the results, I just want to say, Noctua, you make the best CPU coolers out there. I'm not the first person to say this, nor will I be the last, but uh, just, you saw, the experience of unboxing this thing, the tools that are included, the, you know, fact that they'll support new mounting hardware solutions, you know, down the line, they'll mail you a bracket for a new socket. Oh, it's so good. And this is the smallest one they sell in the tower cooler anyways. But it's awesome that they have, you know, a couple of tiers. So you can get a nice tower style cooler in a case like this. It's it's awesome that they consider that. So super Timmy Joe Editor's Choice Award for the Noctua fans. Now, let's get down to the results. Did my modding, did my craziness, did it all pan out in the end? Well, I'm here to tell you that my end result here is that I got about... 150 megahertz better overclock with uh, w with the Noctua cooler. <laughs> so that just goes to show that the Wraith cooler is very well designed, the Spire, uh, you know, for the TDP of these chips. And uh, you know what? It, it, it does well. Now, uh, I think y there is like this much headroom to get any better on a Ryzen chip, you know, above and beyond that, and this will help you achieve it. This got, I think, 99% of the uh, possible end result. You know, if I had the bigger one, the NH15, uh, you know, I probably would do a, a lot better. NH uh, D15, sorry. 
But, um, you know, even if I put my, you know, huge tower cooler that I have from FSP in there, I don't think we're, we're getting 4 gigahertz stable all the time. It's just, uh, it's not in the cards for my particular chip anymore. It's like overclocking it has made it so it just doesn't overclock quite as well anymore. I, I don't know if that even makes sense. It could just even be this chipset or, you know, something changed along the line, but uh, it BIOS revisions and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, this is the end result, okay? I was able to hit 4 gigahertz and get through maybe one Cinebench run. Uh, but the Cinebench run would be a lower score than at 3.95 uh, gigahertz. Stable with a lower voltage. So what's the point in the end? High, really high temperatures, you know, bad stability, and your score is lower, it doesn't make sense. So, the end result is, whether I modify my case like this, all weird, and put a bunch of blockers in there, and change the way the air flows, the inlet and the outlet, or it's just the way it was before, I can achieve 3.95 gigahertz stable at under 1.4 volts. So, that is, that is lovely. Uh, temperatures at extreme load might get to 85 degrees Celsius, but that's way better than like the hundred that uh, I was getting with this thing at uh, 3.825 uh, gigahertz. So, yeah, yeah, we're getting you know 150 megahertz faster overclock with a uh, near hundred dollar CPU cooler or eighty dollar CPU cooler. You know, if you count the fan, it's over that. Uh, but you know, is that worth it to you? I'll leave that up to you. But when it comes to extreme overclocking, I'm up for a challenge. I'm up for a fight. And that's why I wanted to see was the weird airflow situation. This, the basically positive pressure situation that this case creates, was that hindering its ability to cool the CPU? I, I actually don't think so. If you have both fans blowing in and creating a positive, uh, pressure system in the case and they're blowing out the back, uh, PCIe slots and the the graphics card and the uh, power supply it's not that much worse than if I create this weird uh, in out situation with the CPU so you know it's not worth it to switch up this case and the case design is actually not as bad as I thought so in the end uh, I'm pretty happy with the results this thing gave and I'll be happy in the future with uh, maybe you know a, a x370 chipset and like a 1700x or an 1800x if I can ever afford one maybe Threadripper to try and hit 4 gigahertz again but uh, I'm very happy with 3.95 gigahertz stable at under 1.4 volts uh, you know, 1.39 something something. That's probably the best overclock result I've, I've got so far, and I'm getting, you know, pretty good Cinebench scores somewhere in the area of uh, uh, 1720. Like, you can't complain about that. Thanks very much to Noctua. Uh, I got a video coming up comparing uh, the, the ballistics memory in here, the 32 gigabytes with 16 gigabytes, and, you know, uh, lower speeds versus more RAM and what's better. Uh, that'll come up probably next week, as well as I got a Windows 98 build over there don't forget my contest as well i'm really loving all you guys sharing that on twitter that's freaking amazing check the video out at the end of the the video there the 10,000 subscriber contest uh go check me out on twitter and you could win uh some free ryzen shit so i'm timmy joe i do thank you very very much for watching my long ass rambly rants about ryzen cooling and getting five percent more performance in the end for you know spending money on crazy awesome noctua coolers i'm timmy joe i didn't spend the money but uh you guys have a good day watch timmy joe on instagram and twitter go check me out on twitter subscribe to the contest and i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah.